Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will create bottom navigation. It's not going to be a fancy bottom navigation. Instead, it will be a simple bottom navigation that is easy to understand for beginners. If you want to create a fancy bottom navigation, then I have already created a video on it. You can click on the i button to watch. So the logic is kind of like navigation drawer where we have to create menu and fragments. Got it? So yeah, with that said, let's create it. Android Studio does provide a predefined template for bottom navigation where everything will be already created. You just have to customize it. But we will create everything from scratch. Hence, we will go for empty views activity. So choose empty views activity, then write the name as bottom navigation. And click OK. Now let's do the prerequisite first. So go to colors.xml. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the line. Name the color as blue. And hex code as 1A90F1. Again, duplicate the line. And write color as yellow. And hex code as FFD230. Now go to themes.xml. Uncomment this line. And write the color name as blue. Then add another line and write the item name as color primary variant. Then again add another line and write the item name as android status bar color. Now we need to customize the active indicator. See, if you're using the latest Android Studio, that is Flamingo. So in that version, by default, it's material bottom navigation. And in material design, they have something called as active indicator. Means when you are in the current fragment, then an indicator will be shown. Now that indicator by default is in gray color. Okay, so I am customizing it to yellow color. Simple, right? So write the style name. Then give the parent as widget, material 3, bottom navigation, active indicator. Then inside it, write the item name as Android color. And give the color as yellow. And that's it. Now we need to add five vector asset. You can search their name and add them accordingly. First, let me show you how to add vector asset. So right click, then new, and then vector asset. Search for home, and click OK. Cut it. Let me quickly add all of them, and done. Now all the prerequisites are done, let me close all the tabs. As I said, it's kind of like a navigation drawer. So if you remember in navigation, we used to create a separate menu, which used to contain all the menu items, correct? And then we will attach that menu in activity main.xml. Got it? So right click on resource folder, then new, and then Android resource directory. Choose the resource type as menu and click OK. Then inside it, we will create bottom menu. So right click on it, then new, and then menu resource file. Name it as bottom underscore menu, and click OK. Then inside the menu, we will create five items in it. First is home, search, then in the middle, add button, then reels, and last one is profile. It's kind of like an Instagram bottom navigation. Got it? Now let me create the first item. So write item, then give it an ID as bottom underscore home. Then give it a title as home. And icon as home. 
Now let me create the second item. So copy the code and paste it. Make sure to change the ID, title and icon. Similarly, I will create remaining three items as well and done. Now see, we have a home, search, add, reels and profile and that's it. This is how it looks. Now we need to attach this menu in activity main bottom navigation. So go to activity main.xml. Remove text view. Now listen, whenever we have to deal with fragments, we have to create frame layout or fragment container, which will replace each other when we click on the button. Got it? So write frame layout. Keep the width and height as match parent. Then give it an ID as frame container. And then, now we need to create obviously a bottom navigation where we will attach our bottom menu, right? So create bottom navigation view. Keep the width as match parent and height as wrap content. Then give it an ID as bottom underscore navigation. Constraint it start and bottom to parent. Then attach the menu which we created before. Give the background as blue. Then icon color as white. and text color as white. The icon looks kind of small, so I'll give the icon size as 30 dp. Now we will give the active indicator style. So write item active indicator style and attach the style which we created in themes.xml before. And that's it. This is how it looks. Perfect. Now we need to create fragments. So we have five items out of which we will be creating fragments for four items only and other items will be as a toast. Got it? So right click on package, then new and then fragment. Choose blank fragment. Write the name as home fragment and click OK. Similarly, I have created other fragments as well. So it's home fragment, profile fragment, reels fragment and search fragment and their respective fragment layouts. Now let me quickly customize all the fragments. And it's done. Also, let me quickly remove all the unnecessary code from the fragments. And it's done. Now let's go to main activity.kt. 
This is where we will attach our fragments with bottom navigation view. And it's way more simpler than navigation door because we don't have to deal with action bar or toolbar, right? Now, as always, I divide it in steps. So for this one, it's just four step process. Let me quickly give you an overview. So first, we will declare and initialize the bottom navigation view. Then in second step, we will create a replace method. Then in third step, we will set on item selected listener. And last in the fourth step, we will create an initial fragment. And that's it. Sounds simple, right? Let's create it. Step number one, let me declare and initialize bottom navigation view. And it's done. Now step number two, create a replace fragment method. First, let me write and then I'll explain you. Now see, Support Fragment Manager is responsible for managing the fragments within an activity. Then begin transaction is different kind of transaction like adding the fragment, removing the fragment or replacing the fragment, out of which we have used replace method. So replace specify the replacement of the current fragment with the new fragment. Remember we created a frame layout whose ID was frame container. That is what we are using over here. Then commit basically applies the changes to the fragment container. And that's it. Simple, right? Now, step number three is to set on item selected listener. So write bottom navigation view dot set on item selected listener. Then inside the brackets, write menu item, which will be associated with the item ID. Then instead of if else, we will be using when. So basically, it's like when you will click on home button, it will lead you to home fragment. Got it? So inside when, as I said, menu item will be associated with item ID. And this item is in present in bottom menu.xml. Now inside the when, we will write the item ID as r.id.bottom home. And then arrow operator and inside the brackets we will use a replace fragment method and replace it with home fragment and lastly write through that's it I will copy paste it and make the necessary changes Then I will create bottom add. And as you remember, we have not created add fragment. So instead, we will throw a toast. So write a toast. So when you will click on it, you will throw a toast as upload image and video. Simple, right? Then I'll create for other remaining items as well. 
we have added reels and profile as well. Then N says false. Now step number four is to keep an initial default fragment. So like when you open the app, this should be the first fragment and we will keep our initial fragment as home fragment. So write replace fragment as home fragment and that's it. We are done with the coding. Now let's run the app. See, initial fragment is home fragment. And see, this is the indicator I was talking about. As we have customized it, hence it is in yellow color. Otherwise, it used to be by default in gray color. Then I will click on all the other fragments. And it's working perfectly fine. Now let me click on the middle button. That is our add button. And see, there is a toast. Perfect. So yeah, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you in the next video.